Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's attraction tips video is called the key mindset to attract beautiful women. Now when it comes to attraction and success with women or really success in any area of your life it's mostly about your mindset. Now if you have a negative mindset or think you're gonna fail with any woman that you approach or become involved with, then you will absolutely fail. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, of course, on the other hand, if you have a positive mindset and believe that you'll have success with women, then the chances are much better for you. And eventually you will have success if you can continue rather consistently without getting discouraged. Just a positive mindset alone isn't enough because a woman must feel some attraction for you before she's open to even talking to you, let alone giving out her phone number and ultimately going out on a date with you. But even if she does feel attraction or thinks that you're easy on the eyes, if you go into the situation feeling like you don't have a chance with her, she'll never give you any sort of real opportunity. Now, if you're good looking, she may be a bit more open to giving you more of a chance even if you screw up at first but eventually your own mindset is just going to bring you down now think of that beautiful girl that you saw or met or already know from somewhere and how nervous you were to speak to her or invite her out on some sort of date perhaps you mustered up enough courage to speak to her but she shot you down gave you the let's be friends speech or ended up showing you zero interest in you now think of that girl whom you have no interest in. She might be a little attractive, but she just doesn't really do it for you. Have you ever noticed how that girl whom you have no interest in is just completely enamored with you? I mean, she's always talking to you, maybe texts you all the time or comments and likes every one of your social media posts. Her eyes just light up every time you walk in the room and she immediately runs over to talk to you and ask you how your day is. Now you begin to wonder why is it that the girls that you like have no interest in you but the girls who you have no interest in think you're the most attractive man in the world. And I think we've all asked ourselves that question at some point in our lives and come to the conclusion if we could only get those beautiful women that we actually like to feel the same way about us as the girls whom we have no interest in. I mean you may even feel that it's some cruel joke the universe is playing on you. The answer to that question is that it's mostly about your mindset. Yes, being good looking, financially secure, driving a cool car and being in great shape will absolutely help you significantly. However, like I said, even if you have all that, but your mindset is crap, you won't be able to keep any woman very long. So in this attraction tips video, I'm going to be discussing why your mindset is so important and the key mindset that you must embrace in order to attract beautiful women like a moth to a flame. And once you begin to embrace this mindset, meeting and attractive meeting and attracting beautiful women is almost easy. But if you guys need my personal help and you're interested in some private coaching, please head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the coaching tab and there you'll see that I have several options for you to choose from. I offer standard email coaching as well as emergency email coaching which includes a response from me on weekends and holidays and I also offer both bi-weekly and monthly email coaching where I'll work with you throughout that time period. Additionally, I offer phone coaching for my North American clients. Now if you live outside North America, I will have some sort of, some sort of Skype or phone coaching option coming up very soon in the future but for right now email coaching is the way to go and I'll post the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below now part of finding su success in any era of your life requires not only a strong desire for it but the belief that you can achieve it for a good portion of my life I always had the whole glasses half empty sort of mentality and that never got me anywhere you know I would work my ass off 
and just do what I was supposed to do, but I just never really got anywhere, at least not to any place that I actually wanted to be. Then of course, I would get frustrated and discouraged, and then just eventually I would just give up thinking that I wasn't good enough, I wasn't smart enough, didn't have enough money, the world was out to get me, there was some crazy conspiracy to keep me down, and whatever other crazy ideas I could come up with that would explain my failures. And these sorts of things have a snowball effect where the more I began to believe I would never be able to accomplish particular goals due to me failing over and over again, the more I would continue to fail. Conf and that would just confirm my growing beliefs that I would never get anywhere. Then of course, depression and hopelessness began to settle in, making me believe even more that my destiny was failure or mediocrity at best. And then, of course, I would begin to blame everyone else for my failures. It was never my fault. It was always everyone else. And I think many men or people in general fall into this trap. I mean, if, if nothing else, I could tell by some of the comments some of you guys leave, they're either filled with hopelessness or just outright bitterness and anger, especially towards women. But the problem isn't women or all the people seemingly holding you back. The problem is you and your mindset. We are our own worst enemy and we begin to believe all that negative self-talk that we tell ourselves. You have to understand that our brains have no choice but to believe whatever we tell it. There is no other frame of reference for our minds besides ourselves and how we interpret what's going on in our lives and around us. And that's a powerful fact to realize. It's such a big realization that now that you've heard it or you've heard me say it, I bet you're going to be at least a little more conscious about what you're telling yourself and you absolutely, you absolutely should be conscious of that. Now why is this all important? Because when you approach women or you're involved with women, in order to take things to the next level or to keep your girl long term, you must believe that you deserve her. One of the most attractive attitudes a man could have when it comes to women is that he deserves her. He deserves that beautiful girl. And this is one of the reasons cocky jackasses are so attractive to women. I mean, to the rest of us watching, you know, we may see those guys and we're kind of face palming ourselves, shaking our head, oh, and just thinking, you know, what an idiot or what a jerk. But we also see women giggling and flirting with these same men. And then we're left thinking, what the hell? Now, you might be thinking, well, those are just girls that fall for that, not women. But these are the same females, girl or woman, that just got done telling you that they want a nice guy who shows her respect and doesn't always have sex on his mind. But they're also the same ladies who give that cocky jerk her phone number or in some cases even go home with the guy and get into a relationship with them down the road. And the truth is both girls and women of all ages just love that because men who believe they're deserving of a particular woman just exude confidence and self-worth and women love that in a man. Now one great way to help you get into this mindset is to remove her beauty from the equation. Most men get all tongue-tied and nervous because they find themselves intimidated by a woman's beauty. They begin to think, you know, oh no, she's way out of my league. I would never be able to get a girl like that. And just like that, they set themselves up for failure. And they begin to act timid. I mean, they're extra nice, they're extra sweet, maybe throwing compliments at her just left and right. Oh, you're so beautiful. And all of that is communicating loud and clear to her that you feel undeserving of her, that she's out of your league, that you're placing her up on a pedestal. And then she begins to actually believe that, that you're beneath her in, in a sense. Now, if she felt any attraction for you, it's now gone. She may still feel that you're physically attractive, but even that drops a bit because of that negative mindset. And once a woman forms an opinion, uh, an opinion of you, it's very difficult to change that. And by that, by the way, it works in either direction. If she feels you're the most wonderful, sexy man on the planet, it will take a lot to convince her otherwise. But if she thinks that you're a weak beta or just a creep, it's almost impossible to convince her that that's not the case. 
But placing women up on a pedestal and worshiping her and her beauty is a quick way to get yourself rejected. Women must look up to you with respect and admiration in order to maintain her attraction. But when you have a woman on a pedestal, now she's not, now she's not looking up at you. She's actually looking down on you, losing all respect and admiration. Women want to feel like they have a man who is a prize, like she's the luckiest girl in the world. I mean, and she can't feel that way if you're more or less kissing her feet and ultimately kissing her ass. Women do want to be worshipped. I mean, who doesn't want to be worshipped by the opposite sex? But it also kills their attraction for that man when he worships her. I mean, you've probably heard the saying, treat her like a celebrity and she'll treat you like a fan. And in other words, the men who worship them have zero chance of her actually getting close or actually getting close to her romantically or sexually because she just doesn't respect those men. So you want to ignore her beauty or at least don't let it intimidate you. Stop thinking in terms of leagues as in she's out of my league and start thinking that you deserve that girl. It doesn't mean that you're entitled to anything because this is really about having confidence and self-worth but always remember that you are the creative creator of your own reality and if you're not quite there yet then start getting yourself used to talking and, and flirting with women talk and flirt to all women of various levels of attractiveness because if you just practice on the less less than attractive women you're going to end up freezing up when it's a woman that you really want to talk to you know that really pretty girl and just approach these women with no attachments to any outcome with her just see it as you just having a little fun and whatever happens happens and this will get you prepared for talking to more beautiful women where their beauty doesn't intimidate you and remind yourself that you're deserving of beautiful women and the more that you increase your value by working on yourself, you know, doing things like pursuing your goals and hobbies, the more that you're actually going to really start believing that you're deserving of them. So if you found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I'd also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, oh, and I also have a link to some recommended reading of some great books that will really help you further understand how female attraction works and understanding the masculine, feminine dynamics in a relationship. But I also have a link to PayPal or my Bitcoin wallet address if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.